Hi you guys, this is a new angle, huh? I'm Larissa, if you guys are new to our channel, and Darren and I are out and about um, getting some therapy. We are doing some like trauma therapy called EMDR today and just behavioral therapy. Just Sometimes it's great to talk out and work through life um, with professionals. Um, it helps that I share the same worldview with the person that I'm seeing to a degree. Um, because then it makes things a little bit easier. The lighting might be like super bizarre up in here, but I'm in the car and I have to have the, the tinted window shut because it's so loud from traffic, but I'm actually going to put some makeup on because as you can see, I've got fake eyelashes on and Darren really is not a fan of them, but my eyeballs, my eyelashes, well, they're mine now. They, I put them on yesterday and they stayed on. So I'm just going to fake my makeup over it while I talk to you. So I already had my appointment and I didn't get to do any EMDR because we just talked about some things that were going on. Um, but it, it's nice to have someone in your corner that's not a friend that you have to fear how things might go. It's somebody that's that you trust and can, can work. So I, I didn't really do those kinds of things until... I had FND and they recommended that it would be in my best interest to do some, you know, counseling when you're in severe chronic pain and you have all these issues. And also, if there are psychological components for people, I would much rather go work on them. So we did lots of things in the beginning um, to work on, I need another mirror, <laughs> um, to work on things if it was an emotional um, origin for me because um, I did have a you know kind of an interesting background um, in life as a kid and just hardship as an adult so is was the whole thing just a crash of all that could be but there's definitely a major physical component with my with my neck and um, yeah my my counselor lady she didn't think that I have um, conversion going on because my triggers are always pain um, and sensory stuff but who knows I don't even care oh man Madeline's been using my brushes and my foundation looks like it's liquid blush I just turned my whole face pink oops time to get Maddie her own brushes you guys don't you think she's 13 now so so okay we're doing this and then tonight Madeline is staying the night at her gran my grandparents but they're like both of our grandparents and they live right around the corner from us so she's gonna go have fun with them tonight and when we leave here we are gonna go have a date we're gonna go have lunch and I don't even know where because Darren's starving he said on when we switched places and he went into the appointment and I came out he's like I'm hungry so um so we're gonna go out and have lunch and then I guess there's this drone exhibit how on earth am I gonna do oh I have mirrors yay these contour palettes and stuff have mirrors in them so I can use it my eyebrows um there's a drone exhibit ex expo going on in a nearby town and I don't know why Darren Darren well probably because he's a guy but he said that it sounded like he really wanted to go check it out for fun. So I think we're going to go there and bring you guys with us. So we will see what that's going to be like. The weather is kind of iffy. But we have jackets and we're used to rain. And I have like multiple jackets. So I, I also just want to talk about... <sighs> On the way here... I want to know if you FNDers or chronic sufferers in general can relate to this. So we were driving here and Darren was just like chatting and being normal and just, you know, living like normal and, and all of a sudden it was like, I don't know why, but it is like my brain couldn't handle anymore and um, the old me would not say anything and then keep feeling like 
overstimulated through like Darren's awfully can be awfully chatty in a good way and he's like can we can have like these fabulous marathon conversations and then with merging on traffic and just being out and it, it was just like too many sensory things and the old me would have waited and not said anything until I blew up completely and just looked like completely randomly upset but now I would just say thing like what I did was I was like you know can you pause can you pause and sometimes literally all I can get out of my mouth is can you pause and then I need to breathe and sometimes that will make sometimes that will make me shake because it's like like stopping and holding still and all that you guys have seen that trick before but and then once I was better, he was quiet because he knows. And then once it was better, I just said, okay, go on. And just like nothing, he just picked right back up. And so I was thinking I, I should share that with you because I had a dear friend, Natalie, come over yesterday and, and kind of help me with house organizing and life organizing and bless her. She's going to come back. Um, and we made some amazing progress at home but she reminded me like these are things that you can't control you can't stop this you can't you, there's no magic pause button you don't have control over it um, and you have to learn ways to adapt to succeed and I was like yeah you're right and lately I think I've been just too tired to fight you know, I'm just barely getting by with life and uh, it's not easy. And so I really thought, um, I really thought that that was a good, I'm sorry, I'm getting text messages from my daughter um, while I'm talking to you. But I feel like, I don't know, just that it's, it would be like a huge, a huge benefit to share with each other these tech tactics and stuff because then it helps us all my goodness she's like power texting me right now um but i think that it's it would be good in the sense of you never know i got an email or a text or a it might have been actually a comment on the video but it was someone from australia i think it might have been lenny was it you lenny but Guys, when the brain gets wiped, it just gets wiped. I don't know what I was going to say. Comment. Oh, yeah. Woohoo. That was pretty quick recovery. The comment was, thank you for sharing about your tip when study. Sorry, my daughter. <gasps> She's trying to talk me into something, so it's it's salesman Maddie right now. But, um. <sighs> Sorry. She doesn't know, obviously, because we're not together. But the comment was, thank you so much for your tip on when you struggle stuttering to just use a different word because it helps you not stay in that pattern of st stuttering. Haha, <laughs> funny that I stuttered then. But how cool is that? That my tip that I just kind of what I thought. Um, ooh, Madeline has reached the part of her argument where she's citing other kids have it. That's so funny. The oldest trick in the book. Um, so, so it's cool. So I thought I should share this. So the thing that I just wanted to say was when you're feeling like your system is like enduring and it's, it's too, it's a little bit too much of a tax, um, consider letting your, like having a special word that you can call and be like, okay, elephant or whatever. It means I can't handle any more of this. We have to take a break. And it's helped me not explode so much because um, there are times when the nervous system is just... There was a, a motorcycle that was annoying and my back is weird right now. But um, I think that having like if you know your tendency is to get your nervous system becomes overwhelmed and taxed and then it's like 
before you know it, it's too late and you're blowing up and freaking out and you just look like a spazoid. Um, that having those, knowing your tendencies and kind of making a, a game plan, you know, like, hey, friend, spouse, whatever, um, just so you know, I can, my nervous system and everyone's nervous system is involved in all of these things, but when it works well, you don't notice them. But with my nervous system, because I have dysregulation and dysfunction in my nervous system, oftentimes, all of a sudden, for various reasons, I have now become overwhelmed with these sensations. And um, you can't articulate all that when you're struggling. So that's where I would, that's where I just would say, you know, bear with me. Um, and, and sometimes I need to stop immediately on what we're talking about because, and not necessarily, well, some people, it might be the trigger of the topic. For me, it's sometimes I feel like it's just an overload. Like my system just can't handle any more of it. Um, and yeah, so, so that's my tip. Communication is, is paramount, I think, um, with the people in your life and letting them know what you've got going on. Um, because if we don't explain, then it's harder for them to not get mad because, um, I think if you're just flipping out for no reason and you were just fine and now you're freaking out, it's kind of like hard to remember as a carer, like, oh yeah, this is so pervasive. This even affects, you know, her interaction with me right now. And so when I can remind, like, that's no excuse to just be a jerk all the time, but when you can remind your, whoever is around for those explosions, um, that you struggle with that and it can kind of help with, um, having acceptance and, and, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, understanding. So, um, I look like I have a sunburn. It might look normal to you, but in the normal light here, thanks. Madeline. Oh, that feels really good. Oh, I need a massage. That should be another video. Massage with the stick. The brush. Ooh, okay. So yeah, find, find ways of articulating and communicating your situation and your needs to the ones around you. So that way, um, there can be, oh yeah, this is a struggle, you know, or you know, today I had to pull the, um, Darren, you're talking too much about like health problems of your own. And I, as a care, as his, as like the person that endures alongside of his suffering, I get like, it's too much. I'm trying, we're out and I'm trying to have fun. Like, can we not talk about this? And if I'm nice about it and I can be gentle and kind about it, then we can quickly adapt. But if I freak out about it and be like, rah, 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 I don't want to hear this right now because it's stressing me out that's not going to be really make the rest of the day fun since I wasn't very nice. So finding ways to articulate your needs, um, before it becomes an, I'm sorry because I can't control my nervous system is probably good. So I hope that helps. Um, I'm going to go finish my makeup and I know I'm sorry for those of you. If you want to see the rest of my makeup, what I'm going to do, then you can pop over to the other channel because I'm going to finish my makeup over there. So you can subscribe um, to that. Otherwise, we'll be back when Darren comes. We're going to go have lunch. And then we're going to go check out the Drone Expo. Maybe. Sometimes we change our plans at the last minute. So we'll see what happens. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> oh, you're scruffy. Yeah. I hadn't noticed. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Been busy not shaving. <laughs> <laughs> but we're here at uh, McMinimum's. You can see there's some kegs of beer up on a oh my goodness on a uh, tall pole there um not sure exactly how you're supposed to get your beer but uh um yeah that's uh we haven't been to this mcmims before it's a kind of a group of restaurants in uh, the portland area Another that, are, one. that are well actually portland and some other parts of oregon and look too cold and, hurry uh, up it's they're, they're kind of fun and, and unique and, and it's uh, happy hour so we're gonna go have tater tots and yeah. I want a turkey sandwich. Yeah. So with extra mayonnaise. Cool. All right. I'm excited. This is so exciting that we get a date. Yeah. Oh, sure. and really quick and I have to go. I have this bracelet on. It's Madeline's, but it says 
inspire. And I just want to say, when I saw it, I thought of all you guys and all of your kind words of how you've been inspired. And we want you to know that you inspire us. Definitely. And so this is for us, you guys. And I'll go eat some tater tots and cheers them to you guys. Talk to you in a bit. Uh, bye. Good eats, and uh, I was going to show you those really quick. And uh, bon appetit! I got a turkey sandwich with cranberry, and it has provolone cheese and Cajun tater tots. I got a tuna sandwich uh, with Cajun tater tots. So we're gonna eat, and we'll talk to you a little bit later. Bye. Hi. So we're all done eating. Yeah. I'm full. I am too. Good food. We ordered too much food. Yeah, we ordered so much food. We we need to find somebody that needs a sandwich. So we're going to... We're going to keep our eyes open. Keep our eyes open. But we're not too full for dessert. <laughs> yeah, there's always room for that. So the coolest thing, I don't know if you can see it behind me. Let me see if that's... Is that Starbucks? There's oh, wow. Starbucks I didn't know there was a Starbucks. But we'll just see. Oh, it's behind Darren. Excuse me. Hi. <laughs> oh, where is it? You're not going to see it. You don't get to see it, but you got a tour of our car. Um, it was lame. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for pointing out my strength. Extreme close up to my Okay. Scrub. There's this place called the Hillsdale Bakery. And mm. long story short, my great grandmother used to work there decorating cakes many, many years ago. And ironic story that many years later wow that's way too long of a story it's too long of a story anyways my great grandmother worked here and somebody else that i love that has been special into my life that was like a mom to me uh, later in life worked with my great grandmother when she was a teenager oh i did it made it short nicely done put that on the calendar yeah Psh. anyways so. <clears throat> back in the day they used to have these famous square <clears throat> maple bars and Cheryl, like my one of my moms, used to bring us here when we were kids to see where she used to work when she used to work with my great-grandmother. So we're going to go in and see if they still have those, yeah. even though the name is not the same. It used to be called the Hillsdale Bakery. Now it's called Something. Baker and Spice Neighborhood Bakery. So let's see if they've kept the tradition. And if not, we figured we could find something tasty. And we're not going to the Drone Expo. I don't know. It's... Probably not. It'd be well, cool, like though. there's a really nice moment of nice weather, but then earlier I was outside before lunch and I almost froze to death. We might go. We might not. We don't know. Stay tuned. Yeah, yeah. All it's, right. We changed our minds like Oregon's changing the weather. It's true. Yeah. Okay, we're right. gonna take too long if we don't say goodbye. Bye. Mm. Bye. So here is the very bakery that my great-grandmother worked in in the very back, um, decorating cakes back in the day. I'm not sure when it was. Um, she's with Jesus now, but she worked here. And then one of my moms, when she was a teen, actually worked with her. And then many, many years later, she married my dad. So it's a special to me in a couple ways, and it's neat to be here. And they didn't have the same square maple things but we got some yummy cookies and some tea lattes and we're gonna keep going on our adventure aren't we yep he nodded okay see you guys later wave guys we are uh, just came out of the bakery uh, where Larissa's great-grandmother worked for many years and uh, we just told him that oh well we just told you that and then uh, 
Well, we just we just got a chance to go there and uh, thank the World War II veteran for his service, and uh, he and his wife seem to really appreciate that. And uh, we just uh, had fun kind of chatting with folks, and now we're gonna go home and drink our nice tea and have our uh, have our uh, desserts. <laughs> And unfortunately, the horn and honk kind of saw over there. So that's uh, that's life in action with FND. <laughs> so oh, I'm falling over yeah. now. All right. We just wanted to say goodbye, and we yeah. love you, and subscribe, All right. and like our video, and yes, match the walls that you stand next to, like I do. Yeah, right. That's how cool you are. Totally yeah, pre-planned. When you match the wall. Yeah, we pre-planned this. All right. Not. <laughs> All right, Woo! guys. Okay. See, See you next time. Bye.